Well, good morning, guys. This is our third coffee chat, and uh, really looking forward to this one. Um, I want to talk about the energy crisis and what's actually going on over there in Germany. So in Germany, the government has put a 30% stake in Uniper, which is a major buyer of Russian gas over there. And what they plan on doing now is actually passing a lot of costs onto every gas consumer in Germany. And so Germans are going to be expected to pay a special levy starting in October and going all the way through to September of 2024 on their gas. And um, I was talking with the guy that I've met over on a Discord there who lives in Germany last night. And uh, anyway... He was sharing with me how Germany got away from a lot of the nuclear power plants and got it and shut down their coal plants and what what. And now they're starting to kick everything back up again. And I actually just saw that over there on um, on a news article as well, that they're starting to kick up all these coal fire plants and oil oil uh, generating power plants and what what not. And uh, this is really, really going to impact the German people coming in the fall. And so you kind of think like, why on earth were all these major Western powers? And guys, Germany is a major industrial power. And why on earth would they not have gone forward with energy independence when they had that capability? It is just crazy. And you know what it is, guys? It all comes down to the almighty buck trying to save a few dollars and this and that. And all they did was breed nothing but insecurity for their own citizens. And now they want their own citizens to pay the piper for their incompetence. It's just crazy. And, uh, and so we're seeing that almost everywhere where governments are really just passing the buck down to their citizens. And I wonder what's happening, guys, where you're at. What are you seeing when it comes to cost for your electricity, fuel for your vehicle, you know, all these various things. And, and, and further, further to that, the government policies that you're facing when it comes to um, your government just kind of passing the buck down onto you for stupidity and mistakes. I mean, when you think of Germany, when I think of Germany, hey, I love Germany, by the way. Um, I bought a brand new BMW <laughs> off of a you know, with a lot of our profits and things like that. And I got mine made, built, and shipped direct from Germany. And uh, I just love that vehicle. And these, Germany is just a great um, industrial power, and you have to give them credit, considering how decimated they were after World War II, to build up such a massive and fabulous economy and uh, the infrastructure of the country, and on and on. Just really, really give them credit for that. But they've got these governments over there that are just socialist to the core, it seems, investing in all these private companies, not letting the free market reign, and then turning around and making their citizens, you know, choke on the, on the bill. <laughs> it's just crazy, crazy. And quite unfair, at least in my opinion. So I'd like to hear what your thoughts are and what's going on in your part of the world and uh, how a lot of these uh, new government policies are affecting you guys. And, um, and just to see just where, how, so, how far reaching is this, you know? And also it's nice to hear from people that have boots on the ground and are actually living there. Cause you know what, truth is, I don't always trust what I'm reading in the news to give me the absolute facts. Sometimes they'll paint the picture to be way worse than it is, number one. Or number two, if they have an agenda, they'll paint the picture to be a lot rosier than it is. So it's always great to hear from folks on the ground. Now, guys, I want to talk about something else quickly here in the last few, few uh, little bit of time we have left. I've been noticing that in my uh, comment section of my videos that people are actually starting to pose as me, putting in uh, phone numbers and pinning things saying, oh, it's me to, you know, get over there on on to take you off the site and to go somewhere else guys i will never do that i will never pin a phone number for where you can phone me or whatsapp where you can text me i will never ask you for money guarantee that 
and uh, I'll never actually try to reach out to you that way. If I make a comment, I'm gonna like it, I'm gonna heart it, you're gonna see my name there, and you're gonna see that gray box that says Digital Outlook. And I'm trying what I can, and I'm just a new, young, burgeoning channel, and yet you got all these spam bots that are just hitting us already. Please don't let yourself get, you know, uh, roped into one of those, and I would hate that anyone got hurt or conned by something that happened on my channel. So guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you when we post our uh, next video, and later this afternoon. All right, cheers, guys.